All right, let's talk cuts. I'm gonna start off with my personal favorite, which is the bone-in ribeye. This is a fantastic cut. It's beautiful, it's premium, it looks great on the plate. It's also the most forgiving one to cook. If you're new at grilling, this is definitely the steak you wanna start with. You're gonna get fantastic flavor from cooking on the bone. You're gonna get beautiful juiciness, even if you overcook it a little. Most people are gonna say they love their steaks rare to medium rare. That's the sort of real guy way to order a steak. But you've gotta try this cooked all the way up to medium. It's gonna give the steak the opportunity to render out the fat and fully flavor that steak. Beautiful, beautiful eating experience. We've also got bone out ribeyes, which are just as good. Uh, they end up being a little less expensive because you're not paying for bone. You just don't get the drama of the big bone on the plate. We've got wonderful strip loin in here, which is your sort of stereotypical restaurant steak. It's beautifully evenly shaped, nice and easy to cook. They're even thickness, really, really nice, simple steak to cook. Wonderful balance of flavor and fat content. Another fantastic grilling cut, super, super classy and very elegant. Finally is the tenderloin. The beef tenderloin is the leanest, most tender cut that you can possibly get for your grill. It's possibly the most dangerous as well because you can easily eat, overcook a tenderloin and then you're looking at a little dry and a little tough. So one of the things that I like to do, chefs love to do in steakhouses is A, add a little bit of fat and B, add a little bit of flavor. The best way to do that with something like a tenderloin is to wrap it in some bacon, which is a beautiful double smoked bacon or an applewood bacon. Just wrap it around the outside and secure it with a toothpick. That's gonna add some wonderful fat and a nice little bit of smoky flavor to an otherwise lean steak. So let's talk about marinating some of our tougher cuts. If you've got a cut, wonderful cut like a flank steak is traditionally a little bit tougher, you marinate that thing overnight and you're gonna have fantastic product. Now, there's lots of marinades that are available on the shelf that you can buy and they're wonderful, easy to use. But if you wanna be a little more creative, a little more chefy, you can make your own. It's actually really easy, right? If you know how to make a salad dressing, you know how to make marinade. Salad dressings and marinades are really, really similar. They're both based on a balance of oil and vinegar. If you go about two to three parts oil to one part vinegar or fruit acid, like a lemon juice or a lime juice, you're gonna make a fantastic marinade. I think something like a flank steak is gonna to take to that marinade just beautifully. It's gonna suck up the flavor overnight and the acids are gonna help break down the proteins to make it much more tender on your plate. So just as an example, you could use two cups of olive oil two and a half cups of olive oil, a cup of uh, a wonderful vinegar, you can sherry vinegar or red wine vinegar, and then you just add some aromatics like some fresh garlic, some fresh herbs, think about thyme and rosemary. I'd stay away from the salt, because the salt is gonna cure your steak and make it tough and dry, but if you can add in a little bit of soy or Worcester that has some natural salt to it, it's gonna make a wonderful flavor for your steak. Simply score your steak, in about a quarter inch deep slices and a nice cross hatch pattern across your steak. Just fully submerge it in the marinade, leave it overnight. The next day, take it out. You don't even need to rinse it because there's not any extra salt in there. Throw that on the barbecue. That's just gonna be a wonderful eating experience. And that's just a simple way, simple approach to marinate a slightly tougher steak like your flank.